So I made it to Bacchus town yesterday and unfortunately I made a mistake. <laughs> Good morning. It is. Um, I actually don't know what day of the week it is. Also, it's very irrelevant for you. So, anyways, it is around 8 a.m. and I am headed to the center of Bocas del Toro, the center of Bocas town to be exact. The plan is to have breakfast. I usually don't eat breakfast, but uh, when in Bocas, I do. Uh, no, but there are so many really cute cafes here, nice restaurants, so I can't really decide which one to go to. So that's why I'm gonna have breakfast, and then I'm gonna have lunch, and then I'm gonna have snack, and you know, just whole lots of meals, so I can uh, try all the restaurants I wanna try. My first impression of Bocas Town when I arrived yesterday, even though it was raining and it was cloudy, it was like... Oh, cute dog. I love this place already. I, I really like the vibe. You definitely get the Caribbean island vibe here. Very laid back, very relaxed. Palm trees, all these colors. And that is actually the place that I'm going to, I think. It's called Cafe del Mar. So here is what I'm having, pancake with banana and strawberries and maple syrup. The sun is out! Oh my god, I'm so happy. <laughs> that was a very good decision to have pancakes here, it was so good. So Bocas is the fourth stop on my trip across Panama. I started in Panama City, then I continued to Santa Catalina, Boquete, and now I came to Bocas del Tor. So when I got off the boat yesterday, it, it is an island, so you do have to come here with a boat. Or I took a bus from Buqueta and then a boat, and yeah, anyways, I, I get off the boat, and it's raining, and it's gloomy, not nice technically, but my first thought, as soon as I saw this town, or a village, I guess it's more of a village, it's, it's tiny, was I made a freaking mistake because I'm only staying here for one night, and... <laughs> I must admit, this is the first mistake of this kind I made on this trip. I made many other mistakes, uh, don't get me wrong. I, for example, I didn't bring a rain cover. Don't ever travel without a rain cover in Panama. I should have definitely stayed here longer because I already love this place. It has this really chill, laid back island vibe and I love the architecture. Everything is so colorful. So you might be wondering why was I such an idiot and chose to stay only one day in such a beautiful place. Well, I chose to stay in Bocas town specifically only for one day because there's no beaches here. And obviously Bocas is known for beautiful beaches and some of the most popular beaches, some of the most beautiful ones are located on the island where I'm going to, which name I cannot remember. Let me look it up. Bastimentos Island. And I'm gonna be staying by the Red Frog Beach, which is one of the one of the top five beaches in the in the area. Like why? Why? So what is there to do in Balkas Town specifically if there's no beach here? Obviously you can still swim in the water, but you have to be very careful because the traffic, the water traffic is quite intense here. There's a lot of boats coming all directions so you have to be very careful if you swim uh, near those houses here otherwise you can go diving here surfing it's actually a very popular surf destination as well Bocas town is also quite a party place so maybe not the most family friendly destination and apparently at night there's quite a lot going on here there are quite a few bars clubs etc a lot of nice restaurants as well That is the cutest public library I've ever seen. <laughs> so nice. So I need to run back to my hostel to check out and also I really need to pee. They didn't allow me to pee in that place where I was having breakfast because they, they were out of water, which is not just a lame excuse, it's an actual issue here. When we arrived yesterday, there was no water on the island. So even our hostel didn't have any water. Uh, yeah, but then it rained, so. 
luckily the water is back in some places but it is in general it, it has been an issue here because it hasn't been raining for a month so you can also be lucky with the weather if you're coming here as a tourist uh, and have a whole month without rain but then you can be unlucky like me and have a whole day with rain fun fact i read that apparently they don't have like one dry season and one wet season here it's apparently like it changes all the time so when you come here the best thing to do is to check the specific month you're traveling in one thing that i've definitely learned in panama where um i almost lost my computer to this rain when the roof or the wall or i don't even know what and santa catalina started to leak i've learned that you should not mess with the rain because it can really get bad I stayed at Bambuda Hostel, which was located right by the water and cost about $30 per night for a bunk bed. And this is what the dorm room looks like. This is my bed. Um, yeah, and the bathroom is right here. And by the way, there's like no one here right now. That's why I'm filming. And that is the bathroom and you have a little ocean view. So I ended up running into a little jam session at the hostel. Stayed there for a bit longer than expected, but now I am back back to exploring Volcas Town and the sun is out and I cannot even tell you how freaking happy I am that the sun is out. Uh, when I kiss you, I get a spark. Your body, a work of art. Honey thoughts after dark. I will show you something absolutely fascinating. At least I find it absolutely fascinating. So this, this is the airport, and this is a huge hole in the wall to the airport. And then there is also like a football field here. I mean, as you can see, there are little planes standing there. I mean, little planes. I guess only little planes can land at the airport like this. Yesterday I saw a plane landing here and it was quite an experience, let me tell you. Like at first I didn't know what was happening because I just heard this like noise and it was already dark outside. And then I saw a plane, it literally felt like it will land on top of my head. It was so close. I honestly don't think I've ever seen a plane that close. I will actually be flying back to Panama City in a couple of days from this airport. So I'm looking forward to experience that planting flowers in your garden i know you told me what they will be born now what i wonder how far i could go here before if they would stop me if they would even stop me i could like literally go running where the planes are landing i mean i wouldn't do it but i could the girls they be swarming i'm just trying to make sure that you are so tell me if you so i wanted sun and i've got sun and now it's so sunny and hot that i am close to passing out so the plan is to go back to the hostel now and maybe just swim a little to cool down and then continue exploring the town I met a friend at the hostel and I ended up changing my plans and joining a bike trip Where? to Playa Bluff, which is one of the nicest beaches on Colon Island. It's about 12 kilometers away from Bacas Town, so it was also a nice little workout. The ride took us about 50 minutes, 45 minutes, so I guess we were, we were pretty slow, but majority of the, of the way it was like a dirt road, so it wasn't that easy. And I haven't biked for ages, so... Oh, it was such a nice day. I'm really glad that I went to the beach. And now I have all my stuff on me, like literally on me. I also have way too much stuff with me, to be honest. Like they don't even fit in my backpack. I mean, to be honest, this thing is not really stuff. It's mostly snacks that I'm taking with me to the other island because there is not much there. I mean, I'm gonna show you, but I think it's basically like one little shop, two hostels, maybe two other hotels very remote so i'm gonna go to selena here in town now and hopefully get a ticket for the 6 30 boat i made it 
but I'm dead. But I'm also very happy because I got a free room upgrade, which actually happened to me second time in Panama already. I also got a room upgrade in Panama City, so Panama is treating me really well. I made it to Bestimentos Island, one of the largest islands in Balcas del Toro's archipelago. Even though it's one of the largest islands, it's pretty much a jungle. There's not much here at all, and that's exactly why I came here. I'm, I'm staying in a jungle. This island is still super secluded, super underdeveloped, but it's also home to some of the most beautiful beaches in Bocas del Toro. So that's why I decided to spend a couple of days here. I'm staying at Selena Red Frog. If you've traveled Central or South America, you definitely know Selena. Okay, so let me show you around my room and then we're gonna go to Red Frog Beach, which is only a few hundred meters from here. And it is the reason why I decided to stay in this place because it's supposed to be one of the most beautiful beaches in Bocas, but also in Panama. So this is what it looks like when you come in. We have a bed. A nice jungle view and a little sitting area plus a fridge and here is the bathroom this bungalow behind me is where i'm staying and here is the path to the beach i mean we are literally in a freaking jungle In moments like this when I'm just walking through a freaking jungle and I'm the only human being here I just met this cute little dog on the way. Otherwise, there's like literally Nobody here. It's just me. I'm like What is life even like how did I end up here? Like how crazy is that that you can just buy yourself a plane ticket and you end up in a place like this I can already hear the ocean where are oh, I can see it too. Oh, there are more human beings coming. And we made it! Oh my god, just look at this. So there are some people here. The beach is not completely empty, uh, but certainly not many considering how big this beach is. And I can definitely see why people say that it is one of the most beautiful beaches. I mean, it's, it's stunning. The water is so blue. I don't think I've seen water that blue yet in Panama. Santa Catalina, where I was before, was on the other side, so the Pacific Ocean side. And this is the Atlantic Ocean side, and it, it, we are in the Caribbean, so the water has this beautiful, beautiful shade here. Ugh. There's this little wooden path here, so I'm gonna follow it and see where it's going. Oh my god, this beach. Such a beautiful day. Oh, I'm so lucky. I'm so happy that the sun came back. Okay, so it's basically just like a viewpoint. Nice viewpoint though. And there is another very famous beach over there. I'll see if I get to. enjoyed my Panama trip as much as I did and if you haven't seen my other Panama vlogs I will link them up here what can I say I absolutely love my stay here I love this country it was it was great what can I say good times good times Panama I hope to be back one day um, and I hopefully see you soon